This is a demonstration of how to set up a remote connection to a Tecla PowerFab database. This step is necessary for any tool that you create that utilizes the PowerFab Open API, so it's recommended that you start with this video and the corresponding example program for your project. First, in order to connect to Tecla PowerFab, you need an external user defined in PowerFab. So I'll create that user, I'll call it, I'll call it XU for external user. When you save that, we're going to generate a, a password. Uh, you can't customize this password, but you can regenerate it if needed. And you have the option to send an email to the user using Outlook or you can just copy and save that password in a safe location. For this demonstration, I just need to give this user remote login permissions. In future demonstrations, we'll get into other permissions that are needed for this external user. The next thing that you need to have in place to establish a connection is to make sure that the Tecla PowerFab or EPM Remote Service is running. With PowerFab, you should have installed a program called the Tecla EPM Remote Monitor. Open that and make sure that you have a connection to this database configured. And make note of the port that the remote monitor is using. By default, it's 9154. For your internal testing, presumably you're just running a local database instance, so you can set up your IP address as localhost or as 127.0.0.1 as the local computer. And the database port is actually 3306 by default. It's also important to note that the remote service is required for certain PowerFab features like PowerFab Go, and for automated events like database backups and automated reports. So most fabricators will, will already have this installed and running. Uh, however, as it's not required for basic PowerFab operations, you'll need to verify that the fabricator is using remote monitor and running the remote service. Now that that's set up, let's open and run the demonstration program. So in, in the IP address field, enter the IP address of your server and in port, put the port of your remote monitor. Fill in your external username and password and click connect. Now we'll take a look at some of that code. The function behind the connect button called connect button click contains the code to connect to the Tecla PowerFab database. So first we create a request object and the connect remote command object. And we populate it from what the user entered and finally call execute command and get the response object. We check the response object for errors and store the connection GUID from the response object. This connection GUID will be used in subsequent commands to retain this database connection. This program and the XSD schema for the Tecla PowerFab Open API are available for you to download. And we at Tecla PowerFab are also available to answer questions that you may have as you develop the interface from your machine to Tecla PowerFab.